How to set up a rescue task. What's up everybody? This is Gunter Severlo. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a rescue task. Let's go to the editor. We're going to go to virtual reality. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place a player. And we'll go down and just choose a rifleman. And we don't have to do nothing with the player, so we could just leave him be. And then for our rescue, we're going to use a civilian, and he's going to be a scientist. We're going to place him right here, and we're going to face him this way. And then we're going to edit the scientist, and under the variable name, we're going to give him a name. It's going to be POW1. The significance of the name is only important for the codes that you're going to use, which will need his name. So it doesn't matter what you name it, as long as the codes have that same name that you are using to name the scientist. We name the scientist, that's all we have to do, so just hit OK. Next, we're going to create a trigger. So we're going to go to F3. We need a trigger with a certain size. It's going to be real small, so we're just, we'll just choose the trigger with 100 and we're gonna put it in front of the scientist. We're gonna to go to the size and we're gonna set this to three, three, and three. And let's take a look. So this is basically kind of what you want. It's gonna surround the, the scientist and that's the idea. We're going to edit the trigger. We're gonna to go to trigger activation and under activation, we're gonna put any player. Right here, you could put any player, or anybody, or even any faction. So if you're the Blue 4 faction, you could put Blue 4, you could put O4, or Independent. It's up to you. If you're a civilian, you're going to rescue another civilian, you could put that too. So that, it all depends on your mission. But for this, we're just going to put any player. And for activation type, we're going to set it to present. We're going to go to on activation next and we're going to put in a code so this code is going to be left bracket p o w one right bracket space join space left circular bracket group space player and then right curvy bracket and then you're going to put a semicolon and then hit a space again and you're going to put this EOW1 space global chat space and then quotes when you rescue this guy he's gonna say this he's gonna say thanks for rescuing me did I spell that right I think so end it with a quote and then a semicolon so we're gonna go here we're gonna save this right here and test this out to see how it works so we're gonna save this and go to virtual reality and name this rescue and then we're going to play this and see how this trigger works so here's our scientist oh here he is two join group ready so you can see basically when you enter the trigger the scientist will join your group or your side your faction then that little chat chat thing that we just did the global chat is the bottom left there thanks for rescuing me now he's on the blue four side you can see it says blue four thanks for rescuing me so just keep that in mind he's gonna he's joined your group all right so now we know that works let's go back to the editor okay now that we have that set up we're gonna build something small so we're gonna go to f1 i'm gonna go to props we're gonna go to wall and i'm just gonna set up something you'll you'll see what we're doing I'm going to go down to military and we're going to put down a couple of blocks. You don't have to do this. This is mainly for demonstration just to enclose something that we're going to build. But if you want to follow along and do this, then you could do that. I'm just creating an enclosure just so that we have a place for what we're gonna do. All right, so that's all we need to do. Remember, this is not required. This is just something I just wanna create a container. So we're gonna go to F3 again. We're gonna choose the top, top trigger with no size, and we're gonna place it 
in the middle. We're going to edit the trigger. Under condition, we're going to just delete this and we're going to put alive space POW1 and that's it. Now you have a trigger. Next we're going to go to F5 for systems and then we're going to go to Intel and then we're going to go to set task state. So we're going to put this right here. We're going to edit, edit it and we're going to set this to failed which is the one with the X. Hit OK and then that's all you have to do for that part. Next go back to the trigger, right click it and then go on the top where it says connect go to where it says sync to and just click on that and you should have a little line coming off your mouse and just connect that to the set task state that we just placed and then click again so everything is not highlighted next we're going to go to where it says create task under Intel I'm gonna go down a little bit from the first task place that we're gonna double click this the first thing you want to do is you just ignore all this just go down to where it says owner and we're gonna set this to blue four and because we're on the blue four side so just remember if you're if you're on the old four side put old four if you're on independent put independent if you're a civilian put a civilian but since we're blue four we're gonna have it on blue four task ID parent ID just ignore those unless you have multiple tasks and you could start doing that but for this one we don't need it for the title uh, you're going to want a title for your task. So this one's going to be Rescue the Scientist. In the description, we're going to put Our scientist was kidnapped by a local terrorist group. We need you to rescue him and bring him back to base. Now we say and return him back to base. Period. That's pretty good. Alright, so that gives us a description, gives you an idea of what the task is for and a reason for going to uh, get the scientist. So we're going to go down now and we're going to go to destination. Now for this one, we don't need the destination or anything you could set a destination in your mission if you want but we're just going to disable this for the state we're going to put created because this is going to create the task and task type is the little icon that you'll see so this one we're going to go down to where it says help and you get the little handshake icon thing there that's basically it for the setting create task so hit ok and that sets that next what you're going to do is you're going to go back to set task state for the one that's failed and you're going to right click that you're going to go to connect you're going to sync this to the create task module that we just created next we're going to go back to the intel section and we're going to choose a set task state again i'm going to place that under this guy and we're going to double click it and this one we're going to set to succeeded and that's all you have to do for that from here you're going to right click this go to connect go to sync to and then connect that to the create task module next we're going to go to triggers and we're going to go to a trigger with a size 100 meters we're going to place that right about here and then we're going to edit it we're going to set this to 5 five and three we're gonna make this square hit okay for now that's pretty big so let's go down to three three and this is about the size I want somewhat so let's go like this this is about what I want what I need now you see why I created this kind of boundary just to give me an idea of where to put this guy all right so now we have the trigger right click the trigger go to connect and sync to the succeeded task state and that's it for that part 
Next, we're going to we're going to edit the trigger. You're under activation. You're going to put any buddy present. You don't need to specify blue four or anybody else. You just put anybody present, and then under condition, remove that. You're going to put E O W one space in this list semicolon. So remember P O W one in this list. This list will be one word, and then you're going to end it with a semicolon. We're going to go to on activation, and we're going to type out another code. And this one's going to be left bracket P O W one right bracket space join silent. That's going to be one word, and then you're going to go space, and you're going to go group, N-U-L-L, -L, which is group null, and then semicolon. Basically, that's it. All right, so that's our task. Let's save that, and let's test it out. All right, so here's our scientist. Two, join group. Ready. And we're going to tell him to Form get, into, file. get into the file. And... Next, we're going to tell him to two, move up on the way. There you go. All right, so let's restart that. So now I'm going to point out a couple things. Player enters two, the trigger. Join group. Ready. The scientist joins the player group. Form file. If we go to the map and we go to tasks, It'll say rescue the scientist with our little handshake icon. Then as our as we described, our scientist was kidnapped by a local terrorist group. We need you to rescue him and return him back to base. When the scientist enters this trigger, which is here, which you seen earlier, he basically gets removed from your group, as you noticed, and he returns back to a civilian state. So there's two things here. When he enters the trigger, that means the task has succeeded. All right, so let's send them, send them to the trigger. Two, move up. On the way. All right, task completed, which means the task succeeded. Let's restart it again. There's two situations here. Let's say that the scientist gets killed. The scientist gets killed, you fail the task. So if you go to task, you can see it's kind of shaded or whited out or whatever. So you can't do nothing now. The task is over with. You failed, you failed that objective. Now you could sync this with something where you fail the mission if you wanted to do that, or it could just be a failed task. So let's restart again. It doesn't matter whether he's part of your group or not. So if we enter the trigger, two, join group, and somehow let's say I rescued him and we're headed back to the base. All right, the terrorists are shooting at us. You know they're following us. They're shooting at us, taking pot shots, whatever. And they get him. The task still fails. But let's go back to the editor. And the player enters the trigger. So we have any player present. The POW, which is the scientist, will join the player. Then the, the POW will basically, you know, say thank you, whatever you want him to say. And then from there, there's two possibilities. If the scientist gets killed, we have a failed task. If he doesn't get killed and then he enters this trigger, then we're going to have a task succeeded. And the set task state is basically what shows up on your map. All right, guys, there's something I'd like to show you on how you could set this up. We're going to go to a mission that I built. All right, what I want to do real quick is give you an idea of what you could do with this task. This is where I got this rescue to scientist idea because I, I pulled this from my mission. So basically, we go to the, the base here. You could see I have a base for setting up to rescue a scientist. And here's the task that I created. It was rescue the scientist. And basically what I had, what I had for my mission was a scientist was being flown to our Western FOB when his helicopter was shot down near the enemy AO. We believe he is being held prisoner in one of the ISIL-occupied compounds. 
locate and bring him back to base. And this was set to created. The task type was help. As we set up, there was no destination for it and I was playing as blue for it. So basically, just as we did in this tutorial. So then we had that. And then we had a failed task state in case he died. We had a succeeded task state in case he was rescued. And then you would bring him in to this building which was here and then you go into the trigger itself so we had POW on and in this list let's go to where the scientist is actually at so basically with the story I set this up as a prop the scientist helicopter was shot down these guys are in the air on purpose because when you start the mission, these guys are actually fall to the ground and they're dead. So they're basically dead pilots. When you find the helicopters are laying there dead and then the scientist is nowhere to be found. And this is a smoke module, so you'll see that he got shot down. So if we go to where the scientist is at, he's in the AO or the area of where the ter terrorists are. And this is our scientist right here. So with this, I named him Pow, just like in a tutorial here. Just to give you guys an idea, and I have a video on this, is you could set up multiple markers around the map, around your AO or area of operations, and you could use this code, and you could put this code in the scientists or whomever you're gonna rescue's uh, INIT box. And basically what will happen is, when you place these markers all over the place, for example, I have a marker here, and this is one spot. When the mission starts, the scientist will be randomly positioned on one of these markers. So he's basically going to end up here. This is one marker that he might end up at. I don't know. And then each marker has a trigger. Now, just like we created POW1 join group player. So when the player enters it, the POW is going to say, oh, thanks for saving me. And then it's up to you to get him all the way back to the base, which is way over there. You have other compounds. So I have one here, so that's another marker. And then I have another one here where the terrorist, terrorist group have them. So you can see how I set up the trigger. So you can duplicate the trigger. The trigger works regardless of how many times you use it. So you could do something like this. And then I have, like I said, I have multiple positions. I got a position here where he's inside this building. So he ends up in this room. Or he ends up over here in my place building in this building in this room or he ends up here in this building or in this compound or over here or over here I want to conclude this tutorial I hope you guys learned something and I hope you guys find this useful. I want to thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.